is going on guys justin or ov update back again with another video and today as you guys can tell from the title i'm going to be doing uh what is my most worn ovo pieces video and what are the most practical ovo pieces that you may think you don't want but you really do need in your collection because trust me i've learned from the past that just buying a hoodie because it looks good not because you're gonna wear it i've done that a lot of times so this video should be very useful watch it from the beginning to the end and without further ado let's get straight into it all right so as you guys can see i got a pile of clothes here plus a few shoes uh but first i want to get off into the hats so i wear hats a ton snapbacks um and beanies mostly the snapbacks though i do rock these all summer as you guys could tell this thing is absolutely disgusting look at the glue coming up and the dirt i actually had to buy two of these as you can see this one's even worse uh it is really gross trust me i put these uh in a storage far far away from my regular clothes but as you guys could tell this is a basic owl's hat nothing too crazy but i get a ton of wears out of these so my first item on the list is the ovo owl snapback that's definitely up there with one of the most worn items. So moving on, I do have a t-shirt here. This is an OG piece from 2014. Six on the side. As you guys can see, it's cracking on the owl and on the six logo. Guys, check out this tag. These are the 2014, 2015 tags. Crazy. Um, I wore this one a ton as well. It's a black t-shirt with a white logo. You can get many, many wears out of this. Super comfy, 100% cotton. So yeah, this is also another one that I've worn a ton. Getting onto the pants, I just have a plain basic pair of all of OVO sweats. Now you guys may think, nah, I don't want a pair of OVO sweats. Uh, there's no really hype ones or anything like that. Wrong, you guys want to grab yourself a pair of 100% cotton OVO sweats. I have these in olive, black, and white. Um, great quality, fit is awesome. Just basic with the owl patch, goes with the, your t-shirts, goes with the shoes. As you guys can see, quality on the drawstrings. Even has October's very own going around. I wear these a lot. I've worn them so much that it is starting to rip just a little bit, as you guys can see right there, but not too bad. Here we have the tag made in canada so grab yourself a pair next time they come around or even the essentials black or gray sweats so that is it for this pair of pants again 128 dollars definitely worth it in the long run moving right along guys we have this piece which is my 100 percent most worn ovo piece i ever owned this is actually the sports jacket, the sports zip. It has the OVO owl right here. This is the one that they did even before they put the owl patch. This has the zipper that goes all the way up as well, made in Canada. Guys, I wore this to school every single day. That's hundreds and hundreds of days. Uh, as you guys can see, zipper pockets, which are essential because it keeps all your stuff secure and safe. And just to show you guys how much I've worn this, take a look at the bottom. Completely ripped off. Um, the quality is good, don't get me wrong, but when you wear something to school every single day, stuff like this will happen. So definitely recommend picking up an OVO sports jacket. It's plain, it's basic, it was like 150 bucks, but I promise you guys, you'll wear this a ton. So yeah, the OVO sports zip jacket. As you guys know, OVO hoodies are essential, and this is my most worn OVO hoodie for sure. This is the OVO runner hoodie in 3M, so when you take a flash photo, this all lights up. As you guys can see, it is starting to crack at the V right there, and I think over here as well, just because I've worn this one a ton. As you guys can see, this one doesn't even come with drawstrings. Again, this one's made in Canada, 100% cotton. OVO hoodies are essential, OG owl or not, you cannot go wrong at all wearing one of these. Check out the wear on this hoodie. Again, it's plain, it's basic, it's not no Murakami, it's not no 
free the demons, but it is an essential hoodie that I wear. So that is why I got to include this on the list because I wear this one a lot. The first drop of the year will be January 31st. So write that in your calendars, boys and girls, because January 31st is the first drop of 2020. All right, guys, and next up, we got a pair of shoes. I got the OVO 12s. Just take a look for yourself. Beat up to pieces. Worn it in the snow lots, lots of times. Scrapes, scars. This is my favorite. You guys can see the OVO Owl isn't even on the insole anymore. This is my favorite OVO Jordan by far. Definitely recommend picking up a pair. They're all black can go with everything you own that's from OVO so OVO Jordan 12 as well as these right here the OVO Tims haven't worn them that much this season but again it's winter in Canada it gets cold it gets snowy and these are mandatory so again one of my most worn pieces from OVO Laying everything out as you guys can see most of this stuff is black because black you can wear on a day-to-day -day basis um, a lot of this stuff isn't hyped at all. You could find all these pieces, majority for under retail cost. And yeah, guys, honestly, this is a video that if you're getting into OVO, you want to wear the brand, wear it a lot. These are the pieces I recommend you, you end up going for. Plain black t-shirt, black hoodie, maybe a black or gray sweatpants. In this case, the olive and a black jacket because you can wear this in the summer. You can wear this in the winter doesn't matter you can always rep the owl on that piece so so yeah guys that is it for today's video i know it's a quick one but i just want to show you guys some essential pieces you do need in your ovo collection so with that being said like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace